Good evening. I'm glad you could join me for this continued study in Philippians chapter 4. Let's jump right in. Verses 6 and 7. Paul writes, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Now remember, Paul was in prison. He refers to being in chains no less than three times, very possibly chained on either side with guards. Uh, He was under constant surveillance because of preaching the gospel of Christ. Yet this letter is filled with joy, it's filled with encouragement. For Paul, staying attached to Christ like a branch to the vine, as Jesus speaks of in John 15, is so important. And through prayer is the way that happens as far as Paul is concerned. Just one of the keys he mentions here in chapter 4. By way of review, we've, we've noticed Paul uses all-inclusive language. Be anxious for nothing. Every situation. Pray about everything. Uh, As far as the words that he uses, he uses the general word for prayer. He uses the word petition, or your translation might say supplication. It seems that the the two words may have a slight difference in meaning. As I said, the word for prayer is often a general term, which uh, includes various kinds and types of communication with God. Whereas supplication, or Petition is usually a specific request. Uh, This type of prayer one asks for uh, and desires something very particular from God. Uh, Last week I used the example, uh, a general prayer might be, Lord bless my family. Uh, Whereas a petition or a supplication might be, Lord my daughter needs a job, she's going on an interview today and she needs wisdom to know what to say and how to respond to questions and, and what to do. Well, today we look at the third type of prayer, thanksgiving. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving. With, a preposition very important here, the word with, meaning together uh, with our requests. Together with our requests. You might ask the question, thanksgiving for what? I just asked for a particular petition, a particular request, and I don't know that I have the answer yet. Well, one commentator answers that. He says, Thanksgiving for the evidence of God's love already received and continually being experienced even now, of which the Christian is aware of under all circumstances at all times. Well, a few months ago, as we studied this passage, we noticed that the original word for thanksgiving is the Greek word Eucharistio. Uh, It's from where we get our word for communion, sometimes called Eucharist. Uh, We also noted that at the center of this word Eucharistio are two words for grace and joy, karas and kara. A A key to a life of joy and grace is found in the cover word thanksgiving right at the very smack dab middle of the word thanksgiving, are joy and grace. I've been keeping a Eucharistio list each day since our earlier study, at least ten words, a list of ten each time or more. I I know others have as well, and I highly recommend it. Pray, petition, with, or stir in, Thanksgiving. It may be the spice of life. It may be the sweetness of joy and grace for our lives. If we're not expressing thanksgiving to God enough, it may be the reason why we lack joy and grace in our lives. So I want to close with my recipe for oatmeal. Now, I've got to tell you that Uh, For many years, I didn't really care for oatmeal. To me, it was too mushy, it was too bland, at least the way it had been prepared. And um, I decided to try to spice it up a bit, to add, to add some things with uh, the oatmeal. 
So I use uh, regular rolled oats. I start with that and I and I add some cinnamon. I sprinkle cinnamon all over the top of those oats and then I then I drizzle some some maple syrup over top of that. And then uh, of course I put in whatever water is necessary and throw that in the microwave and nuke it for a couple minutes. Uh, not till it's mushy. Uh, it's still a little bit grainy, but that's the way I like it. And then when I take it out, I take one of those little tiny boxes of raisins and I pour those into the oatmeal and I stir it up real good and oh my, the Pam says it makes the whole house smell wonderful. Oatmeal, adding with some spices. Go to God with anything, no matter what's on your heart. Paul is saying you just need to stay attached through prayer. All kinds of prayers. But add with. Add thanksgiving. Stir in thanksgiving. It may add the joy that your life is needing. Let's pray. Father, thank you that we have the ability to come boldly to the throne of grace and receive our grace at our time of need. There are specific things that we ask you for. So many things that we haven't even seen the answers to yet. But Lord, even while we wait, we're going to thank you for all the many blessings, the specific blessings we have in our lives right now. We ask your blessing upon us as we draw close to you, Lord. And we pray, Lord God, that your blessing would be upon us as we call upon the name of Christ tonight. May we find the blessings of God through the joy that is ours in Jesus Christ. Amen.